Nicole is editing inside because it is starting to get pretty warm here in Missouri. Uh, it's actually only 75 degrees and it's really beautiful, but the bus is hot and his laptop overheats, so he had to go inside. Um, but the good news is this is hopefully, hopefully, our last week in St. Louis for a while. Um, yeah, we're just trying to sell Cole's car for this close. Cole! Cole! Hi. Join me. What are you doing? Did you see that? He just shut the lines on me. I'm just kidding, I'll do it. So, hello everyone. Sodids. You just, you can't help yourself, can you? <laughs> <laughs> God. Send help. Okay, we gathered you all here today to talk about this. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We did not. <laughs> don't, don't exit out of the video yet. So in this video we paint our bus and we just wanted to give a little bit of insight further to how we would go about it if we were to do it again. Basically I realized we don't really talk during this whole entire video. Yeah so we're talking now. First thing we would have done differently I think is spend a lot more time sanding. Mm -hmm. So if you have a bus and you haven't painted it yet um, and you think you're done sanding, just keep sanding. Uh, <laughs> really, whatever surfaces where you're like, oh, I don't know how well that's going to come out smooth wise, like, I don't know how that's going to look, yeah, just keep those sanding. areas are going to come out exactly how you think they're going to look. Yeah, and I, I bet we used how many pieces of sandpaper? Like 60. At least 50 or 60. Um, so yeah, just go ham. Use a lot of ham on your bus. Just wipe it down. You want to make sure it's extra oily before you put on that first layer of primer. That's gross. <laughs> the second thing we don't really talk about is that... <laughs> Why are you so distracting? All the time. <laughs> Anyways. Um, he hasn't kissed me in weeks. That was crazy. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I'm speechless. True. I'm speechless. <laughs> My dad has a sprayer that we run off the air compressor. Mm -hmm. And Worked we basically, well. yeah, we added some paint thinner to our Rust-Oleum Hunter Green, and it worked really well. Um, I think it probably could have used a second coat in some places, but I did just do some touch-up paint today, and it went on with a roller pretty nicely. So that's an option, too, um, if you want, like, a nice smooth surface. Jim did give it a second coat as well. We didn't document that, but he did end up giving a lot of the bus a second go around. I don't remember that. I don't yeah, think he, he did. He did that in his own time because he didn't like how the front of the bus was looking with the decal on the hood and he oh, redid all that. Oh yeah, some of it. Yeah, we did miss a little bit, but. Monica was tackling a lot of the lights in this episode. Yep. And you know, these were not water sealed, you know, the, uh, you know, whatever fucking, you yeah, know. Yeah, the little, like, rubber gasket, gasket thing that was casket. behind it. Casket. Gasket. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, but ultimately, we ended up sealing this all in, too. We put silicone yeah. around all the exteriors. All the lights. On the interiors after we changed the bulbs. But all of these bulbs had to get replaced. Yeah. And a lot of them were super rusted on there and they were difficult to get off. We had to use some liquid wrench, um, but definitely replace your bulbs. We need to replace the top bulbs even still yeah, too. Yeah, those top bulb. three there. Um, but these are all those additional expenses that you don't think about, you know? So, you know, a couple bucks for bulbs ends up being more than what you ever budgeted for in the first place, so. Yeah, and it's extra work that you don't think about too. One thing I did last week is make a post about our kitchen. I'm gonna go through every little area or kind of room in the bus and talk about what the amenities are and kind of how we designed it and everything. So if you wanna check that out, go to buslifepossible.com. Monica's Instagram posts lately have been on fleek. I'm killing it. I don't know what happened. Something clicked. 
We've been showing off a lot of the details. In fact, we're going to be filming our official bus tour very soon. Yeah, I'm and so excited. I am thrilled to get that together. A few peeps have been asking how they can best support the journey. And honestly, the best way you can do it is by shopping and utilizing our Amazon affiliate links below. Mm -hmm. So even if you don't purchase any of the items below, if you shop through those, put items in your cart and make those purchases, we get kickbacks which help us stay on the road. And we are not supposed to share that information with them. But I don't give a shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, anywho, enjoy this vlog and... Yeah. Hopefully, in good timing and good car selling, we will be on the road very soon. Yeah, and the next... is the next video? The, no. The big video? No. It's coming, guys. We got the, two the more. The big one's coming, and you'll really like it. That's what she said. Oh, boy. Enjoy the vlog! That's the light. Right? Yeah, okay. that's the light. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to pull out of there or not from the back side. Uh, yeah, or push out from the front. See, I'm, I just pulled that out. Oh. Yeah, so that light bulb don't come out that way. That's just to get to the wire. And then that way, we go to put these on. Then we should be able to, we should be able to turn this then. A little bit different oh, so we can put our own new screws in gotcha so I would still go ahead with pulling these off okay. these are reflectors you can either get rid of them or keep them Just get rid of them for the time being yeah okay it looks like some of these screws are new well probably the light said it was gone out at some point yeah given the bus another deep cleaning and I think this is going to begin the process of putting on some green today so this bus could be looking completely different by the end of this
For the people at home, Jim? Don't do it. Get a professional. <laughs> Anytime you paint outside, you gotta deal with bugs, wind, dirt. Are you trying to get some of the bugs off, Jim, or are you going over them? I was gonna see if she'd get some of them off. Over here, feeling a little guilty for the mass genocide we are participating in with these bugs sticking to our paint. Well, I'm gonna paint the hood if you do that. Yeah. So this is it. This is a green bus now. Yeah. It looks so good. It's a, uh, it's a really awesome start. Tons of touch up to do next weekend. You got a little black dirt underneath your eye. Oh, thank you. Here you go. Yeah, we got a little bit of green on the white and some little stuff to touch up, but it looks so much better than it did. <laughs> Yeah, um, Jim. I know. You the man. Yep. You the man. <laughs> yeah, it's got us thinking a lot more about the details. We've got to replace all the lights on the bus. We just decided wow. we're gonna make that happen. We took off a couple of the caps, and like all the bulbs are like corroded and gross They're, in like, some way. Dry rotted, and then they were rusty behind it because they weren't attached all the way. So like, yeah, it was just obnoxious. Yeah, but this is pretty awesome. So this was a successful sick day. I'm really yeah. glad. <laughs> uh, we made this a three-day weekend excursion and yeah. plowed through. I feel like I've kind of been here forever now. I know, I do too. I'm like confused about what day it is because you're never off on Mondays. Slumber partied twice in a row. Yep. Out in Union, stayed here the whole time. Yeah, I'm just really glad that we got it done now and didn't have to wait until spring. Cause now like all the pictures that we take and everything, like the bus will look as it will, you know? So I'm excited about that. So some little stuff to do. We're gonna paint a white strip along the side and maybe add a wood panel, definitely add like a little table that will fold down uh, on the side too. Make sure to do your outros before you get super tired so yeah. you actually know what you're gonna say at the end of the vlog. <laughs> If we haven't already said it, go check out our website. It doesn't even exist right now, but I know it will be there. Check out our blog that Monica is going to be starting. You can start to see our budgeting, start to align your goals towards the future. It was probably a year and a half ago that we finally came together and we're like, you know what? We both have a genuine interest in doing this and making it a reality. And we started Let's just do it working the budget, saving appropriately. Like I know finances are always a tough subject, but you truly can start saving towards doing this yeah. and making it a reality around the corner. Yeah, if we could do it, really anyone could do it, honestly. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Dang, girl. Insta thought. <laughs> I almost fell. My shoes are not on at all. Look at these shoes right now. Wow. Hey, they're still here. Oh, nice. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys truly Later. are our favorites. The people yep. that stay here to the very end. Sure are. Thanks for watching. The conversion series only gets more crazy from here, and we hope to share with you all of our knowledge, all of our pain and yep. anguish. Mm -hmm. It's coming. <laughs> it is coming. Yeah, especially Cole. Cole gets crabby a lot during the conversion process. I've cut a little bit of it out so far. Uh, I figured you have. Just a tad. I really don't start to get really pissed off until like a couple months until later. The, until the cam locks. Just wait till the cam locks, guys. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. All right. Well, see you next week. Bye.